Oh, that was a good response. That was, <laughs> oh, they're sharp. <laughs> What's gonna happen next? Okay. <laughs> I'm actually like I'm scared. Really, I'm, I'm, I'm really scared now. I think it looks like a tomato because, yeah. like, it has the end on the bit <laughs> and then it has like the stripey <laughs> bit. And yeah. then, but it's not coloured in. Looks like a huge aubergine. <laughs> it is a huge aubergine, Andy. Very well done. <laughs> oh, yes, the, the aubergine helmet. <laughs> Uh, that's very much an advertisement for craftsmanship. So somebody was specifically wanted to go around with half an aubergine on the head. I think it's safe to say that the, the cultural significance of the aubergine has shifted uh, <laughs> since that, that was made. Why do you think he's got a mustache? I know, because men you to have moustaches and it's like a disguised face mask thing of a mom. Why did you go out on the battlefield wearing that? That's not going to do you any good. <laughs> oh, do you, Natasha? It's not going to do you any good. <clears throat> I think if you uh, lose the moustache. Yeah. Well, yeah. in that case, yes, I, I would probably agree with her. The moustache is not going to win, win those battles. That expression um, with the bared teeth and the bristling moustache, it's really, really ferocious. Um, so that's, that's really going to scare off the enemy. See the spikes on, a bird, on his head? Yeah. yeah. I think they're spiky dragon ear thingy bobs. Maybe it represents a dragon. Maybe it's their culture, so they're just like... It represents a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's like for fashion or it's for protecting. <laughs> I think it's more of tradition or um, really? what's the other word? Religion. The whole idea of the crest on a Japanese helmet, it's to really single you out on the battlefield. The enormous extending horns, that's one way of being very, very visible. Colours are blue. red, blue, gold, <laughs> silver. I think the colours, like, mean something to them. The colour association is really interesting, yes. that that's been, that's been highlighted. We've got an armour in the collection which is laced in green and pink and white, and that's supposed to evoke a picture of cherry blossoms and spring. I think the toes are really sore to They look in. like duck feet. <laughs> yeah, they actually do. Imagine your toes being split apart like that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that is the point of the, the way that the, that foot armour is shaped, though. It's to take account of the thonged straw sandals, yeah. the waraji. 